Welcome back to No More Heroes, Travis Strikes Again. We'll actually be finishing Coffee and Donuts this part, thankfully. Uh, this level's really long. See, look, it's green, Lewis. That's not green. That's yellow. No, that's... No, that's, green. that's definitely, it's that's definitely green. green. That's green. Okay, look. Okay, now you're getting to the point where... You know the, the, the lemon lime Gatorade? My parents always call that yellow Gatorade, but I'm like, no, that's green. That's green Gatorade, you fools. But no, they're like, oh. Well, it could be both. That's why it's lemon lime. Yeah, it's it's yellow, and I'm like, no, This it's is green. literally the color of piss, okay? No, the, the last one was definitely more piss than if this. If your piss has a tinge of green to it, oh, that just means you're, no, that just means you're drinking, drinking. Mountain Dew. You're eating asparagus. That's actually not uh, that, that uh Actually, like, the bad. more colored your urine is, the more dehydrated you are. That's yeah, but, like, green isn't works. something you, you really have to worry about. Like, or sometimes blue if you, like, eat certain things. What the fuck? Like, there are certain chemicals in medicine where it'll come out blue and it's fine. What are you eating, bathroom cleansers? Well, I mean, if you're eating Tide Pods, you probably didn't survive it to 2020. <laughs> yeah, I want to know if you if your piss would be blue. Because that was like a 2017 kind of thing. But, okay, yeah, uh, right. okay. Quick Sonic says, says segment, okay? If some dickhead on social media challenges you to to eat Tide Pods or do something else that's obviously unhealthy, just say no, okay? It's no good, all right? <laughs> I got to say, what a time we live in. Where, you know, back in the day, we just had to say no to crack or cocaine. Winter, winners now don't it's do drugs. Tide Pods. Winners don't, do yeah, winners, drugs. Do, winners don't use Tide Pods. Yeah. Not even for their intended purpose. Good so job, anyway, President back Reagan. to urine. Uh, the only <laughs> color you need to worry about in your urine is red, because that means there's blood in there, which is bad. Like you almost sure there's any, any blood in the urine. Obviously, almost anything I, I, else. I, I don't is know what the fuck you make it blue, isn't it? Normal. Like if it's brown, that probably means you're extremely dehydrated, which isn't good. Yeah. But like the only one where you're like, oh shit, I should go to a doctor like this second is red, because that means you've got like internal bleeding in your kidney or bladder or something. Oh, no, John, you know what makes it blue? Those really frosted co you know, sugar cookies at, like, the Publix or the Kroger or something. Oh, I love those! Oh, my gosh. Can we have some? <laughs> How did we get from <laughs> topic you to something topic that's insaturated. Ted, you already got donuts. They, I don't, because you couldn't stop bitching about the piss fog in the no, background. No, I didn't <laughs> I get any happy. donuts. I, although there is a Dunkin' Donuts, like, three blocks away from my house, so I probably... You can't call it that anymore. They donuts. just call it Dunkin' now. They just call it yeah, Dunkin' Yeah, well, they're now. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Are these donuts made of fucking gelatin or what? If they're Dunkin' Donuts donuts, then yes. <laughs> yeah, that. that. No, those, no, no, they were supposed to be onigiri. What? Jelly filled donuts. Yeah, so I want an American <laughs> game where they're eating a don like an actual normal donut, and they're gonna be like, "Wow, these rice balls sure are tasty." <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so you want to reverse Ace Attorney? Yeah, basically. Where they, they it's an American show, but they pretend it's it's Japanese. You just you see the Golden Gate Bridge in the background and the it's Tokyo, just they call like, the Tokyo Tower man, or today in Kyoto is just a bright and sunny day. <laughs> One of these days Eat your rice eat your rice ball, Apollo. <laughs> One of these days though, I wanna see like one of those like really Americanizing anime dub companies try to explain dessert pancakes to, to an American audience. Because we don't have those over here, but they're a pretty big thing in Japan. I don't know. I could go for pancakes at night. No, I eat. No, I, I eat mean pancakes like pancakes for dinner more often than I do for breakfast. No, like dessert pancakes. Yeah, big, I know, I know, huge, I know. thick pancakes that are actually like cakes. Yeah, I know. I've always wanted to try those. They look. Good. I, I want to try those. Yeah, but try explaining them to an American audience. <laughs> we don't know what those things are over here. I mean, we have a word for them. They're pancakes, but we don't have those pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> no. More's the pity. It's like, um, actually, I remember when I was taking French in high school, um, like, my French teacher was like, okay, so you could ask for an apple pie in France, but what you would get is not what we would consider an apple pie. It would be like an apple tart kind of thing, because it's just not the idea of what that's supposed to be is different, even though they have normal pies. In, Dude, like in in, di Europe. in different places, even simple things like scrambled eggs are completely different. There's an American version, which you're probably used to. Then there's like a much thinner English version, and then there's like the French version, which I don't know might as well fucking be egg pudding 
for how liquidy it is. Well, that's because <laughs> they're the French, and they have to make a big deal out of making everything when it comes to food. Well, I, th I think scrambling, by definition, is just the process. Look, okay, of just the cooking process is whipping the, the eggs. process. The cooking process is different for all three versions, and the French version takes for fucking ever because to get it to to be that liquidy and fine, while still being edible, you kind of have to like. You got a like a pot of water, and then there's this other thing with the egg inside it that you heat up over the water. Isn't the appeal of scrambled eggs that you can make it in, like, five minutes? Not in France. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch Again, in France I think must it's be, just, like, three hours long. I think I it's just, <laughs> in technical terms, the definition of scrambling is just yeah. whipping the but, fucking But, thing. you know, like, the different versions of scrambled eggs, like, fit the three countries perfectly. Because, like, the American versions are, like, the big, chunky diner eggs, you know, the 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 really substantial stuff yeah. whereas like the british is kind of just like calm in the middle and then france they have the fanciest scrambled eggs that take the longest <laughs> uh you know what they probably have a lot of extra time on their hands while waiting in between takes for the songs they sing about women who are slightly different than everyone else in the village so you know they've got that extra time to really pimp out their eggs it took me like a full tenth of a second to register that you were talking about Beauty and the Beast there. And Isn't it weird that they choreographed an entire song and dance about how weird this one girl of the town is? To be is? fair, she spends the entire song saying everyone else is boring. Okay, yeah, but you would, you'd get annoyed with the town if they sang a song about how weird you were every day. Alright? They made fun of your dad, and the only guy who liked you is also the biggest prick on the planet? To, to, be, to be fair, Maurice is kind of a weirdo. I mean, he is, but that doesn't mean well, that doesn't I mean, mean bullying is right. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a very weird tale, and there's this guy who just eats, like, two dozen eggs a day, which he swears is the reason he's muscular, although eating that many eggs in a day would just make you really, really fat, so... Not to mention, his cholesterol must be through the fucking roof. That too. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, so the other day I was on a YouTube, I was on a YouTube binge, and I came across a bunch of the Gaston uh, memes... And yeah. so, uh, at one point in the song, is is he goes like Tom, Dick, or Harry, and so they just put the word Dick into random parts of <laughs> yeah. of Gaston, and it's just like when I was a lad, I ate four he did. dozen dicks. dicks. <laughs> when me I was a lad, I ate. When I was a lad, I ate hair every morning <laughs> in order to help no, me the one, get I, the one I recently saw, the one I recently saw, was that every time the word Gaston is said, the song gets faster. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I'm grown, I eat that loony old man. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm roughly the size, size of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Remember how in the live action version of Beauty and the Beast, they had LeFou bribe everybody to join into the song, completely defeating the whole point of it, which is to show how well-loved Gaston is in the town? No? Okay, that movie no, sucks. We've got to emphasize that Gaston's a dick. Because people are idiots. More believable, though. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, but that you know what? That's the that's how you could describe that movie in in a nutshell. Is they were like, we need to make it more believable, and they made the movie worse in order to accomplish that in every possible way. If you haven't yet, you should watch Lindsay Ellis's video on the Beauty and the Beast live action remake because it is about as spot on as it possibly. Travis can use force lightning. Yeah, it's one of the chips. Oh, okay. Huh. Is it good? Yeah. It goes through enemies. Cool. Um, okay, so you've got the four little things. I'm guessing those are the cooldowns on your chips? Yeah. Okay. It looks like, you know what, I think the from what I can see, the gameplay is more has more to it than maybe I... Yeah, there's more to it than just light and heavy attacks. Yeah, because like, at first it looked like it could get repetitive fairly easily, but looking at it now... Like the uh, extra abilities you get are pretty cool. Oh, and I the mean, you also, you also have seem the... that long. Too. Well, I mean, thinking about it, it's not all that much more simple than regular No More Heroes. It's just in this really arcadey camera angle. So, generally speaking, yeah. No More Heroes did have more moves that you can do though with the. Wrestling yeah, there's masks. no there's no wrestling or anything here. I wouldn't exactly call that having more moves so much as having more context-sensitive quick-time events. 
Hey, look, if Mortal Kombat can say that that's added content, then no more heroes. Mortal Kombat too. has never been able to say that. It has always tried to say that, but it has always <laughs> been untrue. Yeah, but you can kill people by chopping off their head and by hugging them now. That's way better, right? No, what's better is the fact that the fighting mechanics are good now. <laughs> okay, I will say, despite me not liking the Joker in almost anything that I've ever seen him in, the trailer for the Mortal Kombat Joker thing actually like made me think that the character was neat. Like for the first time since probably two thousand and eight. Apparently, the what do you mean? They, like, in what way? Mortal Kombat um, Eleven. Right. The fact that he can actually be violent enough to sell the 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 quote unquote psycho aspects of him yeah, did yeah. a lot to make the character like actually threatening to me and like sell the madman aspect of him. Because in almost yeah. everything else, like he can't go that hard. Like he doesn't ever fight anybody. Uh, uh, so comics kinda, do a lot. Well, I haven't. Yeah, the comics do, but uh, I get, I see, I get what you're, I yeah. see what you're getting. Yeah, at. like the most of the time in a lot of the video games and in the movies, he doesn't do a lot. He stands there and talks for a lot of the thing because, again, he's not going to win in a fight against Batman. But when he's just, you know, like doing stuff that makes sense for the Joker, like slamming a bat into someone's head and it does Mortal Kombat level violence, then it actually makes him seem as threatening and kind of scary as he should be so it worked it was next like we'll do you we'll take a picture of you me and the well, robot. apparently they robot. also designed a pretty damn good fighting game character out of him so well oh i thought that they just kind of mo used a lot of his moveset from injustice and i i think it's more inspired by uh his version his moveset in uh, uh mortal kombat versus dc it takes cues from that game. Okay, that's that's uh, fair. But it's 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 pretty much a, a different iteration altogether. I'm just glad they fixed his model because his original reveal looked like a fucking porn parody. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, oh god. god. Well, you know, there watch out, it's the laugher. <laughs> like, like at one point, <laughs> at one point they were like, hey kids, it's Choker. Guess what he does? At one point they were like seriously trying to channel his movie versions into his game versions, and it, it didn't work. Yeah, but I don't know what movie version they were trying Injust to make with that first his one. His Injustice because... 2 model was basically Jared Leto doing the fusion dance with Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Yeah. yeah. And it just wound up looking like neither of them, so I don't really see what the point was. <laughs> well, the point was we've got to get Joker in this game where he's not supposed to be here. But, like, you know, they, uh, the current movie version of the Joker from the Joker, fittingly enough, is just like regular Joker with more clown makeup on so you know no point in really trying to bring in any distinctive movie characteristics from that right you know you'll wind up just looking more iconic if you just make it the comic Joker or some variant of it well I only think that was done because that movie is clearly in its own universe Oh yeah, I know. and I don't think they would want to. I I know you you probably know, but it's like it's just more for the sake of conversation. Is mm. they don't want that iteration to be associated with anything more over the top than what the movie entailed. Mm. Which is a little odd when you think about it, considering that Batman's that's probably the most over the top of Batman's well known villains is the Joker. I would have to say. It kind of depends on how you play him more than anything. What is with the skullfish? They're they're bonus guys. Like the, the colors indicate on what you get from killing them. So you have to like move away from the middle. Wait for yeah, like a... this one. Like the yellow one will give you gold. It will cycle to like green, which will give you experience or something like that. Which you are not demonstrating in this room because you can't catch the damn things before they disappear. Yeah, you don't want to be using light attacks. You want to be using heavy attacks on them. Oh. As you, oh, you idiot. <laughs> aptly demonstrated by also missing with the heavy attacks. Uh, no, that was an air. That was an air light attack. So, will these guys just keep spawning in until you get one, or? No, they. There's a limit. This oh. is effectively a bonus room. Right. Limited bonus room. Yeah. Well, I feel like most bonus rooms are limited. It's like get all the stuff you can before time runs out, and then time runs out, and it's like sucks to be you. 
Unless if you're a real skilled gamer, and that's like G A E M U R, and you yeah. get all the stuff before time runs out, and then the game's like, "Wow, go <laughs> go to bed." Ramen boy. So wait, that guy's also a glitch. So why don't we kill him? He's serving us ramen. Because he's serving us ramen. You know. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Ah, so much food trivia. What did he say? It was like Gochi so so shy. Gochi so sama. It, it, again, it's it's hard to tell because uh, Robin Eck and Downs is specifically directed to be to mispronounce it because Travis is a weeb. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's an ancient it's an ancient medieval time <laughs> mech suit. I love it. <laughs> Oh, it's Brian Buster Jr. For a second there, I thought it said Brian Busterver. <laughs> Busterver. <laughs> so is this an intentional mispronunciation of Brain Buster? It might be. It was solved because I gave it coffee and donuts. <laughs> Okay, so if he wants... You fool! You've messed with the natural order! <laughs> okay, so this guy wanted to die. Yes. So he pretended to kill himself? Yes. And so we solved his murder. Yes. Which brought him I didn't back even to notice life. The, I, I didn't even notice the old dude in the chest. Yeah. Until, he, until that pose... This okay. game's weird. Wait. Also, the, why is the I don't know why the Iron Giant's in the background there. Why is the Iron Giant in the background? Superman. <laughs> well, um, Don Bluth was a thing during the PlayStation One era. In fact, there was supposed uh, to Don? be like Iron, Iron Giant wasn't Don Bluth. Iron Giant wasn't Don Bluth. Nope. I don't know what studio animated it. I only know that Brad Bird, who did The Incredibles, huh. directed. It has a very Don Bluth look to it, so I always just associated it with him. Huh. No, it was uh, Warner Brothers animation. Did, have they done a lot of animated stuff since? Because, like, the only, like, movies... Movie-wise, no, movie wise, no. Okay. There was supposed to be a Titan AE game on PlayStation 1, but, like, the only thing that exists for it is a demo. That you, like... Yeah, but that will require people actually watching Titan AE. Huh. Which is unfortunate, because Titan AE was almost good. Like, <laughs> it, it. Boy, that's damn with fate praise of I ever. Well, I mean, like, there were clear production problems, and the result is that <laughs> the movie is missing several chunks of what it would have needed to be a complete story. But, like, it, it was almost good. Like, it has some good qualities to it. And they were planning this whole, like, big multimedia thing around it. There are, like, several novels that are side stories to the game. And then there was the game. No, no, no. There was several novels that were side stories to the movie. And then there was the game, which never got released. Because, like, I don't know. The movie didn't do so well. So, like, basically immediately the studio was closed down and everything else was stopped. Yeah, it was because the film the film did really poor on the box office. Uh, it was it was with a budget of uh, close to ninety million, and it only made thirty six. Ooh, that's bad. Because you also have to remember yeah. that the advertising. advertising budget is like half of the movie budget, or something to that effect. Mm. Uh, so oof, that's a big yeah. that's a big. It move. bombed. It's just unfortunate it because bombed. like it it was good enough that it did eventually get a following. You know, but a slight one. It's a bit of Wait, it's, it? it's got a bit of a cult it, following, you know, but not much. Not not like enough of a cult. Not enough. Not enough of a cult following to like really take notice of in this day and age. Not the way like games get cult followings when they're like really good, but didn't get attention at the time. I watched it because John Leguizamo was in it as a funny Yoda-like alien. I was like, hey, he's funny. <laughs> yeah. 
It, it, it's me, it's Luigi. It is a very pretty <laughs> movie, and it has some good music. I remember liking it, but like I haven't watched it in years either. So It doesn't have what it takes to be a really memorable story is the problem. Oh, well. Just, you know, if they hadn't given the studio so much trouble during production... They might have actually gone out on a good note. They just sort of went out on a... Eh. It's like one of those things where a studio dies with a whimper instead of a bang. What yeah, else that's did all, they do? That was, that was a lot of the, uh, move, the animated movie studios. Yeah, it was that It was that age when... Oh, I know he was Don Bluth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Don Bluth's last movie, I think. Yes, it was. So, did he just stop after that? Well, nothing he was making after, like, the early 90s was making money. No. I think the only movie, like, after 1990 to make money was Anastasia. And that was just because he was just copying Disney. <laughs> Anastasia uh, he, is... um Okay, he was copying Disney with Thumbelina, too. But that didn't yes. work out. Uh, Anastasia had... It had a Disney feeling, yes, but it also had something unique to go with it. So it had enough of a hook to, to, to get some success. But it's not a very good movie. <laughs> no. I mean, it's funny in that a lot of the ways... In, it's shockingly Disney in so, in so many ways. Like, the slightest bit of historical accuracy and everything else being wrong. Like So it's basically Pocahontas, but Russian. Yeah, bas- yes. it's about as accurate as Pocahontas. <laughs> which like, is to say not at all. <laughs> which, like, I mean, like, stuff like Rasputin being a ghost and whatever, but, like, in, there's a lot of, like, debate over, you know, how legitimate Rasputin was and whether or not he was just abusing the, like, trying to take advantage of the royal family or if, you know, he had, he thought he was doing the right thing or, you know, there's a lot of different, like, in, like, discussions on his character in, like moral character, I guess. I guess I should say, but the movie's just like, nah, he evil, brah. He's so evil, he come back from the dead. So yeah, that's a bad. Yeah. That's pretty. I, that's I, pretty. I Disney. Thought it was that's yeah. Like that's that's exactly what Pocahontas was like. I mean, minus the evil wizard kind of angle, but in Pocahontas, <laughs> they took a a pretty historically shaky gray area thing and turned it into a full on sappy romance. You know, which made. Pocahontas mm-hmm. 2, incredibly awkward when it went the historically accurate route of having Pocahontas travel to uh, Europe and marry someone completely different. Um. <laughs> I also, if I remember correctly, Pocahontas was also like 14 yeah. when the settlers came. So. Maybe. And, jo- and John Smith was like in his 40s. <laughs> Yeah, something like so. that. But that wasn't entirely like <laughs> that wasn't entirely like uncommon at the time. So it's um, it was. So it it was more common than now, but uh, from less what common I remember, than in the Middle Ages. Let's just say less common than in the Middle Ages. But from what I can hear, a lot of normal, what we should say, like not nobles, did marry around what we would consider to be a mostly normal quotation marks age, which is like twenties. So, right. fun fact. Oh. We'll, we'll be learning more fun facts in the next part of Domer Heroes, I imagine. I can't wait. 